guys, what's up? Thanks for clicking to watch this video. My name is Shay for anyone that's new here. And if you're not new here, welcome back. So today I thought I would do a video focused more on the eyes. I'm gonna be using the James Charles palette to recreate my favorite kind of go-to halo eye. Um, I'm gonna be using a lot of warm colors. So if warm colors aren't your thing, sorry. Just switch out the colors for something more cool if you'd like. So. Let's get okay, started. So I zoomed in a bit more here to try and let you guys see what I'm doing a little bit more. So I'm going to start by paint, painting. <laughs> I'm going to start by uh, priming my eyes with the Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I like to use Soft Ochre because it makes the colors pop more on the eyelid. I'm using the Morphe M173 Chubby Buffer Brush to blend this out. Normally I don't use a brush, but I got my nails done for once in my life. And um, it's a little bit easier to apply stuff with a brush than just these nails. But I wanted pretty nails and I'm really rough on my hands. So I went and got my nails done and I wanted the most obnoxious color I could find. I was actually the first person to use this dip color. So that's always fun. At least I know no one else around has it. At least no one then gets their nose done at the same place I did. But I was kind of inspired by Katie, AKA Luster Lux. She has had neon nails in the past and I think it's such a pretty color that no one really ever wants to get. So why not, right? So I'm going to attempt to show you guys these colors as I'm using them. I also taped the little like informative sheet. You can see my ring light. I taped like the informative sheet with all the color names. So if you guys have the palette and have that available, you can tell, but I'm really just gonna be staying in this zone here for the most part. And I'm probably adding in the yellow as well. So I'm actually going to start out with the yellow, which is called B. And this Morphe M506. And I'm going to just kind of start sketching out the very tip top of this eye look. Okay, so once we've got that color down, I'm gonna go in with this M330 and I'm gonna take 518. It's this like lighter orange color. And I'm just gonna put that, start blending that right under the yellow. This palette, I was like, holy crap, like this is everything. And I've been on the hunt for a true true red for the longest time and I could not find one and so I snagged this up like the day that it launched I came up to work a couple hours before I had to be there to get it um I'm also going in right now with that rusted so just the next orangey color just put that low in the crease but I swear to the heavens, if I had five bucks for every time someone asked me about this damn palette at work and if we have it in stock, I wouldn't need to work. <laughs> it's been such a popular thing, but I find it completely worth it. Like, I'm really glad I bought it because I needed these colors in my life. So I'm just taking rusted blending it there. I find that this M506 is probably the most helpful brush when I'm doing 
looks that require like a lot of layering, a lot of detail work because it's such a fluffy little brush that I can go in and just perfect and bring back colors that maybe would have gotten away and it's detailed so everything kind of all blends together seamlessly and I love it. So we also recently went and saw Captain Marvel finally and holy tits Batman that was a good movie she is so badass I can't even and her BFF she's got my heart um, it's kind of funny I went with my boyfriend and my best friend and we both kind of dirty to each other in the movie and I was like that's me and you that's me and you um, their friendship just reminded me of a friendship with my bestie a lot but it's such a good movie she is such a badass and I can't wait to see Avengers Endgame so anyone that doesn't know me I'm like one of the biggest fangirls you'll ever meet like I'm either completely obsessed with something or I don't care at all and Game of Thrones is finally coming back after like two years of waiting on April 14th and then literally like 12 or so days later, Endgame is coming out and I don't think my heart can take it. Like I think I, my, my fangirl heart is gonna explode. I just can't, <sighs> I get hot thinking about it. But um, I'm so excited. And Captain Marvel just heightened that excitement. So I'm, I'm so ready, I'm so pumped. I can't wait but at the same time I feel like my heart is gonna break into a million thousand pieces anyways that's not what this video is about this video is about makeup so let's get back to it all right I am gonna clean this dirty ass elf brush real quick I need to clean my brushes and then I'm gonna go in with your kidding the red I'm gonna pat that on outer And then on the inner. I really can't wait for Game of Thrones though. I'm so, so incredibly excited. It's been way too effing long since that show has been on. And I just, if you haven't watched it, do the 30 day trial or whatever. Ask your BFF or whoever for their HBO password because you need to watch it. The hype is 100% real. Like I normally stay away from hyped up stuff or I'll watch something that's super hyped up and I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. But Game of Thrones is absolutely 100% worth it. Like, oh, it's just so good, it's so good, it's so good. If I remember correctly, my first video was even shot in a House Targaryen shirt, if that tells you how much I love this show. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with Rusted and just... Kinda. Do you want this? Okay, and then I'm gonna take this big ass fluffer, M505 with a yellow B and then I'm gonna mix a teensers. I watch too much Jackie yeah, I know. Um and a five one eight and then I'm just gonna blend those edges a bit. Okay. Now for the lid color, like the little pop in the center there. I'm gonna take so good on my finger. I'm gonna just pop that right there in the middle. Same on the other side. Then I'm gonna make sure they're even because I do this all the time, like I don't make my halos even. And then I have to fix it. Something is blowing me up. 
I don't know what it is. But someone's texting the crap out of me. Okay. Don't they know I'm an aspiring YouTuber? Probably not. Anyways, I'm going to take this Morphe M124 and then take more of So Good and just like pack her on the edges lightly. Like so. And just a little bit more. Maybe just a little bit. So I used to think that since I had sort of hooded lids that I couldn't do halo eyes. But then I figured it out. <laughs> That's just a lot of what makeup is like. I feel like people get kind of caught up in watching other people do their own makeup. And then if it doesn't work out, then they're like, oh, I just suck at makeup. But you don't, probably. You just have to figure out like what products work best for you in your eye shape or your skin tone or whatever you know like everything that works for me isn't gonna work for you like my most favorite foundation in the world the smashbox studio skin doesn't work for my best friend and i think a lot of people tend to forget that i also think a lot of people get caught up in the way that a lot of youtubers apply makeup and just because someone applies their makeup that way doesn't mean you have to. Like, yeah, learn techniques and stuff, but apply it your own way. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I think that's why sometimes you get people or products that get bad reviews or people who are like, oh, I couldn't do it this way and so this product sucks. And it's like, that product probably doesn't suck. You may just not be applying it in the way that it's intended. Like, like if a foundation or something says to use one or two pumps or half a pump, only use that much and then you'll probably get the results you want. Anyways, I'm going on a rant. Okay, so that's the top of the eyes done. I'm going to do the rest of my face and all that good jazz. And then when I'm ready to do the other eye, I'll be right back. All right, so I have got the rest of my face on. I uh, got blush, bronzer, the whole shebang, foundation, concealer, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little um, shader brush, little flat under eye brush, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna take that and go in with a little bit of rusted, a little bit of 518, the two oranges. I'm gonna start here in the middle. And work my way out. Then obviously the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this Morphe E14. It's one of their elite brushes. I'm gonna take the red, you're kidding, and then just blow that out under the lash line. Okay, so I'm going to take that pencil brush and I'm gonna use face. Pop that on the inner corner. Okay. And um, I'm going to curl my lashes. Use the Lanco Monsoor Big, no surprise there. This is the best mascara in the history of the world. Okay, and then on the lower lash line, we use the ColourPop BFF Mascara in the red color. What's it called? 
left on red. Gonna take that M506 and the So Good color, just like a smidgen, and highlight the brow bone. And then for lips, I'm gonna use the ColourPop and I Love Sada E collab and Ariba. And this is the outcome. I uh, hope you guys like it. I love it. These are my tones. It's my vibe, whatever you want to call it. This is like, if I could just wear these colors every day, I would, but that would be a complete waste of everything that's behind me. So I try and switch it up a little bit, but this is my comfort zone. Um, if you recreate this look, uh, but don't feel comfortable wearing a red lip, that's 100% okay. Go for a nude if you want to. Um, but yeah, this is this is my jam. I like the way it came out. I actually haven't done halo eyes in quite a while. There was a time in my life where I was doing them every day of my life and I kind of backed off from that. But I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you do, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Share it to anyone that you think would be interested in it and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.